Hey everyone, it's your girl Tafik, the Christian Creative. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. If you're new, I'd love for you to like, comment, and subscribe. For this week's video, I'm actually going to give you a bit of an insight as to what my quarantine birthday was like this year and to hopefully give you some inspiration for what you could do if you're in quarantine and your birthday's coming up. So I really do hope that you enjoy this video. I'm usually a huge birthday fanatic, right? So I tend to go all out for birthdays. Mine, you know, whoever I'm close to, I just tend to go all out. So I usually do a, a wide array of things, whether it's a photo shoot, a video shoot, having brunch or dinner with friends, going on road trips. That's my life. But seeing that I've been in Ontario, Canada for the past three years, um, it's not really the same because of winter and all of that and no adding quarantine on top of it. So yeah, I have learned to adjust and to be flexible and open-minded as to how to celebrate. <laughs> so for this year, I actually did a photo shoot in my living room. I transformed my living room space. So if you watched my Vlogmas video in terms of decorating my living room, Guys, it doesn't look like that anymore. <laughs> um, so it has been transformed. I won't give you the details for that just yet because eventually I'll show you around. But um, yeah, so this is the backdrop that I did for a video, um, for my birthday video. But separate and apart, if you check out a couple of pictures that I have on my Instagram, you'll see what my birthday photo shoot was like inside of my living room. And yeah, I just, is what I had and ordered a couple equipment online on Amazon and magic <laughs> you saw the end result so I hope you liked it um, and this whole backdrop and what was my curly hair will still have a bit of curls um, it's two weeks old so I'm actually surprised that the curls are still there but yeah so this whole backdrop behind me I have Christmas garlands and I have LED lights, my lamp, and I'm using my big old head to block the lamp. Um, but yeah, using a ring light, other lights, you know, camera, everything. But yeah, so that was my whole setup for my poem that I did that you need to check out. My previous video, it was amazing. I hope you liked it. I hope you watched it. I hope you left a comment. Um, so other than doing a photo shoot and recording a video in terms of for my birthday poem, I also had a little brunch, small brunch with my two closest friends. Um, just invited them over and we had some Jamaican food, you know, had to feel a bit nostalgic, kind of bring the tropics here. So I did that and the day of my birthday was a Sunday, which was really chill. I honestly didn't do much and that's exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to show you the behind the scenes as to what it was like and yeah. Let me know your thoughts, check it out, leave a comment, what you like, what you didn't like. Yeah, so let's get into it. <laughs> Okay guys, so here are some quarantine birthday ideas that you could do for your birthday this year in 2021. Number one would be a photo or video shoot. This could be outdoors, this could be indoors. For me, this was indoors this year. Got some balloons, lots of balloons. Um, got some equipment, some good lighting, all of that jazz. And I transformed my living room space into a mini studio. Hence, um, what you saw in my pictures. If you're on my Instagram, go check it out. But yeah, so for me, I love just 
capturing moments over the years of my birthday so photos and videos are like a huge deal to me i'm going to show you uh, one of my favorite video shoots of, from one of my birthdays in jamaica so that you can actually use that as an inspiration for your birthday but you're in if you're in quarantine or if you're in a cold environment like i am in ontario you could actually transform one of your rooms have a little corner a nice space and just have a nice backdrop good lighting a nice camera whether it's your phone or a dslr and have some fun it's as simple as that number two would be a staycation support your local hotels support your local airbnbs and cottages and cabins and villas and all of that stuff wherever you are it's different for everywhere but you can go ahead and support local businesses by just spending a weekend spending a night with your well it's quarantine so yeah number three is themed brunches or dinners you can be cute you can have fun you can decorate your dining table for me i did that um under a budget of a hundred dollars i was not going to break the bank <laughs> So I did a little theme between chic and kind of tropical because I'm kind of missing home, especially in the winter now. But yeah, so you can actually think of themed parties, chic, rustic. There's so many, you know, keep it classy to each his own, you know, do some little research, go on Pinterest for ideas. Guys. That's what I, I live on Pinterest. Um, you can actually do like budget friendly decor or you can do something high end luxury or even get a private chef to come in and to cook for you or you could do takeout so many options for brunches and dinners at home but yeah that's an idea another thing you could do is a movie night or a netflix party and gather your friends get some popcorn get some blankets make it really cozy and warm especially if you're in the cold like i am and just have some fun Number five would be Zoom parties. I know people are having maybe Zoom fatigue from all of this, maybe from work or school, but you can do some Zoom parties, make it fun. You can maybe play Kahoot's categories, which is an online website. You can do virtual karaoke. The possibilities are endless. Another idea you could have is a paint night. So you can order the equipment from Amazon or Etsy and get a canvas, get some paint, grab some wine or some juice to each his own <laughs> and, you know, have some fun with your family and friends. And this could actually be virtual so you can, wherever your friends are, they can do the same. So it doesn't have to be something you do alone at home. Here are some quarantine gift ideas guys let's be creative let's be generous you know to your loved ones and treat them you know, treat them yes i am a firm believer of that <laughs> but whatever way you can you know you can send a card in the mail um if you can send flowers you can do gift cards virtual gift cards e-gift cards and that is a thing there's this website that i also found so i'm going to drop it in my description box for delivering flowers online if you're in canada um what else can you do hmm. uber eats yes send some food to your friend here friend eat something good mm-hmm yes if you're a foodie like me you'll appreciate that <laughs> but the options are there so be creative um send some chocolate utilize local small businesses that offer a delivery option and yeah that's a good way to give back to your friends for their birthdays or your family so yeah there are my quarantine gift ideas i do hope that you enjoyed my video and that you kind of feel inspired the options are endless you can go on pinterest i'm gonna see if i can list a couple more on my or in my description box so that way you can pick choose and refuse what you'd love to do but be inspired guys grace and peace to you much love
Thank you.